Let's have a closer look at the ingredients in uh, liver detox and also the reason perhaps behind some of their conclusions in, 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 the, in, the, in the product. One of the most important liver tonics, and let's call the, use the word tonic, uh, known to us is milk thistle. Milk thistle contains cinnamarine, a compound of such importance in the support of the liver that we can describe it in this way. Imagine one of the nastiest and most dangerous mushrooms that you could pick in the wild is being the death cap mushroom, Amanita. Something which destroys the liver and causes death. German hospitals, of course on the continent of Europe, people pick wild mushrooms much more than they do in Great Britain. Yeah, but in German hospitals, stocks of cinnamarine and milk thistle are maintained in order to provide assistance to those who have eaten death cat mushroom, which is effective um, even after ingestion, sometime after ingestion, and when the liver has been attacked. Um, Cinnamarine has the capacity to regenerate an assistant supporting the liver to such an extent that it's absolutely preeminent in the process of helping a liver to maintain its power in detoxification. So that's the first and the most important ingredient in the product. The next is another very uh, useful uh, liver support called rest harrow. It's not commonly used in, in Britain, but it's very popular in France, and known as Spinosa. It's a little pink flowering a uh, plant that ranges between 20 and 80 centimetres tall, found in the wild, in, in hedgerows sometimes, in full sun, but in the edge of hedgerows. And the root is used as a diuretic, mild laxative, and uh, particularly for skin purification by virtue of its action on the liver. Next one to consider is cooch grass. Cooch grass is that vein of gardeners running along with its, uh, its root structure, uh, getting into your beds and being rather hard to eradicate, Agripyron ripens, the creeping cooch grass. And um, this was gathered, this is gathered, root is cut, dried, cut, and used as a very valuable diuretic to increase the flow of, of urine. Next to consider is boldo. Boldo leaves come from South America. They are um, something a little smaller than, than the leaves of, of, a, of a rose. Um, quite leathery, wonderfully aromatic with a rich balsamic, almost perfume-like aroma. And used in infusion, again, passes fluid from the body, supports the liver, supports the liver, a very good liver tonic. Century, a tiny little European plant, gathered from the hedgerows, no more than six inches tall. Lots of in chemical substances in it, which act in a number of different ways to support the gallbladder and the, and, and the liver itself. Bile secretion is affected by it, and that's part of the whole cycle in the liver. The next one to think about is, is chamomile as an ingredient. Soothing, calming. Licorice, again, demulcent, diuretic, sweeten. In there for a number of different reasons. One of them being it counterbalances the sharpness of century and boldo. Dandelion is the penultimate ingredient to dandelion root this time, not leaf. Root, which is excellent for the liver and an excellent uh, diuretic because of its potassium content. It assists in potassium replacement when you are urinating. And finally, peppermint in order to balance the whole flavour and taste. So we end up with a product which is not only effective but also pleasant to drink on a regular basis complex 
but interesting.